YouTube fam what is going on with y'all man your boy is back jumping straight out of the weekend man your boy took a couple days off for Easter you know what I'm saying I just wanted to chill out you know give y'all some time to soak in the previous videos and yo man you know your boy your boy Daily J is back man so I'm gonna be hitting y'all back with this daily content we zooming we hit the play button starting things back up so make sure that y'all start the video off by giving it a like real quick man go ahead do that for your boy Jay and if you aren't subscribed go ahead and make sure that you subscribe man trust me you will not you know what I'm saying be disappointed that you do that I'm gonna make it worth your while but other than that man thank y'all as always for watching today your boy does want to bring some content of uh, uh, that has to do with some early shoes and of course um a uh, recent pickup and another recent pickup that your boy did double up on man this shoe is restocking in a lot of places it was highly demanded i want to say that um um, Nike did not make that many pairs of this shoe when they first initially made them But just the demand got crazy or something, you know what I'm saying? Because the demand was a lot higher for this shoe than a lot of people expected, man So I'm like, I wonder if they was like, okay, we see the demand Let's go ahead and pop out some more pairs, restock them So that we can get some of that money, man So I do have uh, a shoe that I will be showing you that released back in 2022 But it is now finally getting restocked, man So you want to keep your eyes peeled for that shoe But other than that, man, make sure that you guys are traveling the right way bang the sole premise way as always man you see it right there right here is a bag that does come from sole premise this is the Luciano leather bag which can hold up to five or six pairs of shoes depending on what size you are man several several areas for storage space and as you can see man it does have that luxurious premium look to it because it is premium bro it is luxurious you know a lot of people ask about this bag when i'm out with it um you can store shoes right here at the bottom where that bottom zipper is you have three different slots right here one two three different slots on the inside where you can store a multiple of different things you can put shoes in there clothes laptops like a whole bunch of different things in there then you do got another small pouch area right there on the front as well as right above it man so several different areas for storage nice premium looking bag man you can get this over at soul premise and they have several different uh colors varieties man pink blue red you name it yellow like they have a variety of different colors man so if you're a male or a female it doesn't matter they have the right products for you man just check them out the link is down below in the description use promo code j the sneaky guy at checkout it will save you close to 50 percent off on one of these bags so that is an opportunity you don't want to miss out on man and um if y'all look at my previous videos where i do talk about soul premise look at what the people are saying about the bags that it did cop man and if y'all did cop man hey i told y'all bro but Check them out today, man. Do not sleep on it. Use that promo code. Save yourself some bread. And other than that, let's see what your boy done picked up. Appreciate y'all. We ain't even gonna bang it. But look, first things first, your boy did get a package from Capsule. So if you guys are familiar with Capsule or if you're not familiar with it, you know what I'm saying? Capsule is a hat company. I think that's what they specialize. I'm sure that's what they specialize in. But I don't know if they sell anything outside of hats. I would think it might be just hats um yeah capsule hats man so i'm pretty sure it's just hats they, they specialize in but your boy did pick up a hat that's what's in here i'm gonna show it to y'all real quick what your boy picked up um this released like i want to say thursday of last week and it came today on monday so what came in here is dope presentation okay it does have some stickers it has a cart full of stickers so that's dope. Might throw these on my laptop or something. But got that. Of course, you got this. It looks like um Cracker Jacks. It got like that Cracker Jack style look to it on one side. And then on the other side, it's like a ticket. So this way up. There y'all go. Come with all that in the box. Dope presentation. But here we go right here. Here's the hat. Dope presentation as well, man. And it is none other. Oh, hold on. Let me show y'all that box, man. The box is fire, man. I definitely like the presentation of how it comes. So that's the box. That's the side. Dope, dope. Right there. That's the other side. And now for the hat, man. So bang. Take a look at the hat if you can see it, man. It is a blue Jays hat. I'm going to take it out so y'all can see it better. But the presentation is cold on this. But um, this is the Doppler Radar Blue Jays hat. I think it might be still available in some sizes. Um, This released alongside a pack so it was a whole bunch of different baseball teams that did get the doppler radar treatment i just liked it, the blue jays because of the j on it you know your boy j all that good stuff but here it is right here man the blue j 
Doppler radar hat. Clean Cleaner has that multicolor logo right there on the top. Gray brim. Got that red slash uh, maroon type of uh, under brim. And, you know, just clean, man. You got that 30th, is that 30th anniversary uh, stamp tag right there. And then right there on the back, you got your MLB logo. So clean hat in my opinion, man. So it is a fitted, as you can see. Your boy had to pick that up from over there. They did have, like I said, a lot of other teams, but I just wanted to get the Blue Jays because I like the Blue Jays the most out of all the ones, man. But check them out, man. Capsule got some dope hats. A lot of y'all be asking about my hats. This is another one of the spots, man. Sorry that I can't tell y'all in the comment section because it just be so many different spots I get my stuff from. But this is one of them, Capsule, man. So here's the hat. First things first, get that out the way, man. Let's keep it moving to see what your boy done got two pairs of. Appreciate y'all. Bang! We gotta bang this one, man. So your boy did head up to my local, local, not local, local sneaker spot, man. Fresh Sneaker Boutique. And I did pick up a couple items, man. I ain't even been up there in a while. So I went there and they had a couple new things. And I did get to pick this up. I was surprised that they had these. I didn't even know that they got them. They were just sitting over there. So I picked them up. And um, as you can see, there's a red Nike box size tag on this one, Reads, I don't even know because I don't even want to tell y'all what shoe it is. But these are restocking all over, man. So check your local DTLRs, Jimmy Jazz. Uh, if you got a sneaker mom and pop shop or whatever in your area, check them out because they might have silently restocked this shoe, man. And this shoe is none other than the Nike Penny One. Bang! OG joints, man. So this shoe did restock, man. So, hey, play that clip real quick, man. You guys remember uh, about three quarters into last year, these did release, and your boy did pick them up. I did give y'all a review on the own feet, as y'all can see. But this shoe right here, in my opinion, one of the best penny shoes ever made. And yes, man, your boy had to double up on them. Um, I seen them restock and I was like, yeah, I'll just go on ahead and, and take another one, man. I ain't even tripping, bro. Let me get another one. So your boy does have that double up in the Nike Penny ones. I'm trying to get my other one out, but there you go right there, man. So I do have a double up on the Nike Penny ones, as you can see. And I'm curious, I'm curious. I'm gonna look at the dates on both of them. I want to see if these were produced after my first pair in which i do got some soul protectors on you know i gotta keep them clean because i didn't know i was gonna be doubling up you feel what i'm saying but um is this a shoe i should have doubled up on man um I i'm gonna say yes it's you know my choice hey i buy what i like and i don't see this shoe coming out anytime soon man but just out of curiosity i want to look at the manufacturer's date on this shoe real quick we ain't gonna spend too much time on it so yes y'all as i suspected jordan not I'm so used to Jordan, but Nike, man. Nike went back to the drawing board with these because they are like almost a, a year difference in production date. Almost, it's close to it, but my first pair was manufactured, I wanna say, all the way up to November or January. It might've been January of, let me double check that. January of 2022. So yeah, my first pair, the production stopped in January of 2022. You can probably see it right there on the screen. But that was my first pair, and of course, the new pair that I just picked up today stopped, uh, these stopped production in November of 2022, man. So one was very early in the year, and these were manufactured, what, in the last two months from, from September through November, man. So they did go back and produce more pairs because like I said, the demand was so high. I wish it was just that easy, man. I wish it was just that easy with Nike shoes that if we want them like that, they can just go back and make some more. But why did y'all make more of these? But shoes like, of course, Lost and Founds, um, just, just any shoe that we really want. Why don't y'all just go back and make more pairs? But that just shows you the control that they have. They can go ahead and make, mass produce whatever shoe that it is that they want. They only made probably around, probably like 60, 50K pairs of these when they originally released. More limited, way more limited than anybody expected because they didn't think that these shoes were gonna be doing anything. But when they seen that the demand was high, they said, man, let's go ahead and make another 150,000 more or something. I don't know, man, but they are restocking, man. So if you do want this shoe, check your local stores, ask them about them if they do have them on their manifest to be, um, you know, restocked or anything. And you could probably secure yourself a pair for retail, man. So that is the second pickup, man. Now let's go ahead and give y'all an early look at some shoes that are set to release, depending on when you're watching this video. But April 11th, it's releasing Tuesday, April 11th, which is tomorrow, point of me making this video. So let's get to that. 
Yes, sir. Bang, man. So this shoe right here is set to release on April 11th. Retail will be around $120 on these right here, man. So this shoe is the Nike Dunk Low PRM, size nine. I recommend going true to size on all your Nike Dunks, but some people go up half size. Hey, either or, it ain't gonna hurt you, man. But popping it open, we do have the Nike Dunk Low. Bang! Sets a bun, man. So is anybody checking for these right here, man? This shoe will be on the sneakers app. I think it's already on there right now at the time of me making this video. But this shoe right here is a dope shoe. It is inspired by um Japanese, you know, festive, festive, you know, activities and stuff. Of course, festive foods and um just just different things along that sort, man. So if you guys want to read it up, it is on the sneakers app at this time, but Bang! Here they go right here, man. It is a Nike Dunk Low that does contain a lot of different features, man. So you do have that that um I forgot what they called that man. They got a name for it, but your boy is just hey, I'm I'm on the spot with it, man. But all the info for this shoe will be on the sneakers app. You can read that little clip that they do have on there about this shoe. But a lot of different materials on here, man. You got that uh Nike swoosh, which does have like a, a crystallized type of rough leather type feel to it man so it does have a rough type of feel to it you got cracked leather on the side panel as well as on the toe box and of course it does come with an extra set of purple laces man um the white laces and the purple laces do have some aglets on it man so you got that purple aglet on these laces and you got purple aglets on the white laces as well man but here they go right here man the sets of bun nike dunk low set to release tomorrow man is this another dunk man that that you guys are planning on going after or it's just you know it's just another dunk y'all just gonna let it fly in the wind man those who know about them know about them we'll cop them but translucent outsole as you can see i don't know man should i do a should I do an on feed for these, man? I don't think y'all gonna watch it, man. Y'all haven't been, y'all say y'all wanna see the dunk videos, but y'all haven't really been, you know what I'm saying, giving that much feedback on the dunk video. So I don't know, man. I might just throw these in the collection and maybe post up a picture on the gram or something, but baby swoosh right there on the front. Clean, clean, you know, nice suede too. Nice suede right there on the front toe cap area. It does have a two tone back and forth more motion on it man so clean man got a cell midsole not bad this is just different it's something different man but uh like i did say it is based off of uh japanese festive foods the the so what is it soybeans or something like that man i forgot exactly what the true meaning behind this is man but it's all right there on the sneakers app or online if y'all want to check it out but i just bring it to y'all to show y'all the fashion sense of it you know what i'm saying like do i need to style these up and throw them on feet what i need to do man but here they go man the sets of bun nike dunk low set to release tomorrow tuesday april 11th 120 is the retail price um dope details on it man the insoles y'all can barely see it right there but I'm gonna try to leave a clip of it right there on the screen, man. So the insoles does have that character. I forgot who that was. Like I said, hey, I'm just here to show you how to shoot. But it does have that on both insoles. Pretty dope, you know what I'm saying? Detailing on it, man. But uh, let me know, man. Is this a dunk that y'all will be going after? If not, let me know as well, man. But your boy Jazz checking out, man. I should have some, some dopeness coming to y'all this week. So stay tuned. Make sure your notification bell is rung. And other than that, man, let me know about the pickups. Let me know if y'all wanted to get a pair of them pennies. If if they're restocking in your area, y'all talk to me, man. Y'all let me know. But your boy Jay is checking out with these joints and everything else I showed y'all. Y'all stay blessed. I'm gone, man. Good to see y'all back, man.